Ambush here on KW Judas Free Radio Provo. We thank you all for joining us tonight on this auspicious occasion. Uh, where are you guys from? We're from Portland, Oregon. Sorry, what was that? Portland, Oregon. Oregon. Portland, Oregon. I actually have met a lot of cool bands from Portland. Yeah, yeah it's, a, we are one of them. it's a big band. You're it's about to be. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to make... Free Radio Provo history. And that's the only way to do it is on the Golden Hall of KW Judas. Oh, man. So, yeah, we're just as lucky to have you as you are to be here, if that made sense. (laughs) (laughs) You should be thanking us right now, damn it. Yeah, sorry. No, thank you. We really do appreciate you having us out here. We've had a real ordeal in Utah. I have heard. Yeah, why don't you guys tell us about that? Well, uh, earlier this week, we were on our way to, we were staying in Salt Lake City with these people that we met on the first night of arriving there, and then we ended up, uh, our van ended up breaking down, or there was a transmission issue on our way to a show in Logan, so we had to cancel that gig, get towed, and then we were just dealing with all that for about, about 18 months, so it was rough. 18 months? Felt like it. We arrived on Sunday, and we've been in Utah for 18 months. Time slows down in Utah. <laughs> you noticed? It's also kind of this black hole that um, anyone who leaves can never, ever ultimately escape. Yes, but with that said, we are happy to be here on KW Judas. I think this is the first time we felt uh, safe and, safe and sound. And sound. <laughs> in Utah. <laughs> well, yeah, didn't you guys play the dog pound or something like that? Yeah, that was the um, very first, that was the first thing we saw upon arrival in Utah was this this dog pound here, and uh, how was that? Tell the scariest moment of our lives. <laughs> of your lives? Well, we, uh, at least Jack and I had never been to Salt Lake. We literally drove directly to the, this dog pound, 
and uh, yeah, we yeah, it was clearly a very close knit group of uh, terrifying bikers, and um, yeah, we showed up, and uh, I don't know. You know, well, there was just not very remember. many people there. The funniest part was, I mean, we got there and um, we kind of set up and and. We uh, were we were starving. We hadn't eaten all day, and we asked if they had any. Apparently, they, they said they had hot dogs. So we asked Sweet. if they had if they could make us some hot dogs. It is the dog pound. Yeah, it's the exactly. hot dog pound. So yeah. I think it'd be hot dogs. Yeah, it was um. a, a given. But uh, then the, the guy Brian, who was helping, who I I had talked to to book the show, and who was helping putting put everything together, he was like, "Well, we're out of hot dogs, but I have this like like a pizza thing that's like wrapped in a pita shell." And I was like, oh, "Okay, that sounds great." And then the bartender was like, yeah, it's like a flatbread pizza. So we were expecting that. And then they brought out these quesadillas. And they just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Full of marinara sauce. Full of marinara sauce. Yeah. So it was just hilarious that they couldn't think of the word quesadilla. Or that they didn't know That's the word amazing. quesadilla. That's amazing. It was pretty... It ended well because uh, this crazy dude who I will not name was... Uh, who we were talking to all night. Like, we finished, finished our set playing for three people. And then he was, like, at the bar, like writing stuff down on a napkin and he's like I just wrote this I finished this song can I just come like play it with you guys I love that about yeah. Utah yeah and so he just hopped, hopped up on stage and like we just started jamming and he uh, sang the song uh, and it was great he was he was stoked yeah he was yeah, very he was a really some great of the craziest song. weirdos around here yeah. he claimed to be the fourth best harmonica player in the United States and he played he had played at the Grand Old Opry and he had played with with like all played, kinds of legends. He said he played ping pong uh-huh. with Smash Mouth. Yeah. Whoa, Smash Mouth. Yeah, he was the real deal, man. He was yeah. like Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So anybody who's listening right now, if you're wondering why these guys sound a little echoey, it's because they're actually not in the same room with me right now. They are Brad broadcasting from, what is it, the 6th or 7th moon of Saturnium. Uh, well, we, we lost track after five, but... Yeah, but there have been demons the whole way out here. We're, we're in the demon dimension of the universe. Right. And, uh, to look that up. <laughs> That's why there's a little bit of a delay on there. You can kind of hear my voice, though, right, folks? Right! It's the demon delay. Yeah, it's very demonic. But yeah, let's have another song. Alright, let's hear play. Okay. This is a yet to be recorded song called Blonde Boy Girl. Oh, it's being recorded now. Oh, yeah, this will be the first time it's ever recorded. Yeah. Way to make history once again. Indeed. In Rambush! Free Radio <laughs> Provo. We have on KW Judas, Free Radio Provo. 
and they were actually p- polite and kind enough to bring us beer from their home planet. Mickey's Wide Mouth Planet. That's the way to do it. <laughs> it's very much appreciated. On this planet, they don't accept that sort of thing. Unless you go to uh, the appropriate libation emporiums. Which are state-operated, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, that's uh, true. State. <laughs> the D-A-B-C, bitch. And yeah, we've already kind of gone over a lot of the exquisite laws that we have here and on uh, mostly beer regulations and whatnot. Keeping the people safe, you know. It's really, it, it, we're really just looking out. You know, <laughs> it's out. in your best interest, yeah. okay? Yeah, you're not allowed to have that, that much fun. Because it, yeah, you, you just have a bunch of people having fun, you know, you can't have that. So, think piece. in Oregon, however, I mean, they're like a dime a dozen, like bars, breweries. Yeah, it's kind of a problem. Strip clubs, too. Strip clubs. Yeah, we have yeah, the most like strip clubs per capita. Here, There's a bunch of drunk perverts out there in Oregon. Just yeah. Walking around. Walking around with great There's hair. There's a lot of perverts walking around here, too, but you can never pick them out. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. See, that's sinister. Oh, yeah. I that, like that. That's just Yeah, sinister. but you're easy to tell, Tweeft. You know, like... <laughs> Like we were talking about walking around on the BYU campus, like one out of every ten of those guys is a rapist. Mm. Mm. It's a big problem. It's because we're talking about rapists. Yeah, you got to raise awareness. Yeah, we're raising awareness. Damn it! Don't go to the BYU campus. Will you they won't let yeah. you drink coffee either. Oh, oh, I just left so, what was the name of that last song? It's called Blonde Boy Girl. And what's the name of this next song? Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, jeez. Your, your choice. The song is good, not called <laughs> Your Choice. <laughs> We're just choosing still. Uh, Do you guys have any songs about Charlton Heston? Oh, yeah. Feel free to give any mad, any props, mad props. Yeah. I, I, if you're not getting I'm going to. I'd like to give mad props to the man, Chuck Heston. I, he was great. Chuck Heston, this one's for you. It's called... It's called uh, Jimmy in the, in the Closet. <laughs> Jimmy Sorry, in the what? Closet. <laughs> Jimmy in the Closet. Jimmy in the Closet. All right. about our dear friend Jimmy. I like that. Who was trapped. Rambush. Free Radio Provo. <laughs> Jimmy's in the closet and you know he's got a treat to
Tweefed here as a guest audience. Thank you, guest. Thank you, guest. She's really, really stoked. Very zealous. Uh, and we also have Rambush, who are also very stoked, and I'm very stoked as well. It's just a big stoked party here. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to be having these guys at City Limits uh, tomorrow. Well, I guess we're pre-recording this, so it wouldn't so you technically already, you be missed the show. You missed the show, you Wait, guys. You to this. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. Yeah, it was really fun. It may be there. Oh, yeah. If you were there, the then, hey, thank all of you guys for coming, yeah, and it was good to see you. Yeah, it was such a great show. Yeah, I'm so glad it we was got to meet you tonight. Show. Man, how about those one other guys that played? Man, yeah, weren't they amazing? Yeah, those I almost got in a fight with those guys, but it ended up okay. We made, made, a, we made peace. Yeah, yeah. In fact, one of them kicked my ass. Yeah. <laughs> Man, watch. What if all this actually happens tomorrow? <laughs> it has like to one now. of the guys from Apes of the States, just like, "Man, I don't like your funny eye. I'm gonna make it even more yeah. funny." We heard people making fun of Judas, and so we had to step in, of course. Uh yeah, yeah. You get, so you guys got my, or no, you guys had my back. We had right, we back. had your back. You had my back. Yeah. Tomorrow, we had. Your I appreciate back tomorrow. that. That's why we're bros. That's why we're down. Yeah, that's why it's. True G status. Tweef is here. And Tweef ran away and peed on herself in the corner. Yeah, you were there. Look, this already happened. You can't deny it, Tweef. Oh, no. I was too busy getting my ass kicked by apes of the state while these guys had to pull them off me. Do do apes of the state have any, like, gubernatorial? I'm just going to, like, instinctively going to want to fight those guys. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Guys, don't do it. Don't do it. They're good people. I've talked to them. All right, all right, okay. Fine. Kind of. Uh, we'll see, though. You know. Plus, you know, we we had to make them go last. We, 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 have to, we, we had, yeah, had to, past tense. We had to. And so that's probably why they were pissed. Yeah. Or why they will, no. Hey, we already talked about this. They should understand. Yeah. We're talking in three different time zones right now. I know, it's kind of crazy. It gets weird after a while. Yeah. We should probably stop, or else I'm going to get fucking lost. Pardon me. Pardon pardon my French. So what's what's the name of this next song here? This next one is called um, Horror's Force. It's on our uh, our album, The Leech. Your the album? Do the you have well, any of those EP. albums with you? Yeah, we have cassette tapes yeah. for sale. Oh. Oh, and for give, oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got merch. We got merch. We also have t-shirts. Is there a way people can order your merch online? Yeah, if you go to rambush.bandcamp.com, you can order them online. It says that they'll be sh- be shipped within three days, but so far I haven't been very good about that. So. <laughs> well, you're on tour right R-A-M-B-U-S-H. now. Yeah. You, you'll get them. R-A-M-B-U-S-H. 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 They, they will arrive. And for this song, uh, we do have a music video. Uh, that was made by my brother and my best friend down in LA, and they're called Maple Sisters Media, and they did a very good job. They do a lot of good work. Check it out. Alrighty. So the name of this next song, Horace Force. Rambush on KW Judas. Free radio bro. <laughs> Drones. 
to think the screeching sounds like her moans. Who knew I knew ya? Who knew ya? Boy, you got me. I went down under to see him grown. My oh, oh, oh. Oh, you're pretty good. Yeah. Oh, me too. Pretty good. This side's just coffee. Pretty good. Ball of frog. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> so how long have you guys been on tour? Oh, man. <laughs> I guess only like a week and a half. Seems like a lot longer, but yeah. About that much time. You just book it all yourselves? Yeah. Book it all yourselves. It's pretty hard. I don't think I we'll would do that again. So. And you've never been through Utah before, right? No. no We've never really been on tour, tour actually. Yeah. Ever. Right. Well, I mean, your first tour, I mean. It's going to be a nightmare. Right. It has been. <laughs> yeah. but How much know, longer are you like guys out? Uh, another about 10 days, I think. Or about nine days now. But well, that's yeah. at least yeah. nothing too heinous. Yeah. If you survive. If we survive the Rockies. Yeah, the Where Rockies. Where are you guys going, going next? Going Colorado? To Colorado, Colorado, yeah. yeah. Going to Colorado. Co Colorado Springs at the Flux Capacitor. Yeah, yeah Colorado is uh, supposed to have a pretty, pretty rocking scene. Yeah. yeah, I'm stoked. Yeah, we're, we're very excited. Well, uh, we've, I've only been there for to pretty much just go camp in the desert, so we, we didn't really get to experience much of the um, the culture, I guess, mm. Mm, if you would. But they still have 3.2 beer, too. You know that? No so, yeah. Really? Yeah. Nope. That's yeah. horrible. I was really 
really yep. excited. You that never would have guessed. No, They've know. legalized it. Man, Utah pretty much. gets the bad rap for that. Yeah. And yeah, Colorado oh. still just has the three point two shit. I found that out the hard way. Yeah. Going and uh, I wound up paying way more for it. It's like thirty bucks for a thirty pack of Keystones. Jeez. Yeah, I was pissed. It's a darn shame. It was not yeah. pleasant. Not a pleasant awakening. Yeah. Well, thanks for the warning. Yeah. We're a little bit spoiled. Yeah. Beware. Morgan. We might not survive. <laughs> we'll be <laughs> fine. Not. As long as the car makes yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not too often that you hear stock up in Utah before you <laughs> yeah. leave. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. They've got uh, horny toads. Oh. What's that? It, it it's a lizard. Oh, oh like literally, it's, it's, it's a lizard. Yeah. I was expecting that to be something else. It's a reptile, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Yellow spotted lizards. Horned lizards. Yeah, we watched holes last night. Yeah. <laughs> horny toads. <laughs> yeah, we got horny toads here in Utah too. It's pretty rad. We used to go out and catch them. You gotta catch. <laughs> you gotta catch them all. Apparently. God damn it. If I hear we, one more word about Pokemon. We left like right as that hit the, Shut up. Hit the roof. Shut up. Okay, so what's the name of this next song? This is because uh, Veronica is a brand new Damn one. it. <laughs> These guys are cool. You, you guys, you guys, you're all right. You checked out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. But so you know that by the time you're off tour, you'll be trying to catch them all just like everyone else. I'm not going to resort to that. I've got plenty of other video games. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, we got a Super Nintendo. We're going to go home and rock out. It's going to be great. Yeah, rock out. Yeah. Yeah. Play some Donkey Kong Country. Hell yeah, yeah, Pokemon can die off, yeah, Poke- but it never playing, will. If you're playing Pokemon Go, put it down right now. It's put it poison. down right now. It's poison. No, what it's sucks crap. is you could still like come to our show and still catch Pokemon. We should start using that to promote shows. Oh, Shut yeah. Yeah, just set up a Pokemon location. Yeah, and be like, if you come to this like place, there's a rock show. Oh, but there's also you'll a find a, a, a mute mu- mu- tarts. Or <laughs> yeah. <it's> called. <laughs> you'll find a, <laughs> there are mute tarts available at City Limits tomorrow. So. And Dragon Arios and Squid Arios. Okay, let's hear this next song. All right, this is Veronica. Around the 
Oi, oi. We have Rambush on KW2, this free radio Provo. And uh, we are at about 33 minutes. Half-time the halftime show, show yes. Uh, Here, here's what Rihanna. do you guys do as a halftime show? Well, we normally have Bob Ross come out and uh, just do his thing. We just let him loose. You know. <laughs> he's not dead. I, I refuse to believe that he's dead. He's alive, and I haven't seen. So I have not seen this corpse are you until do that now. Uh, yeah, take it away, Bob. Wow, that's it's amazing. Really, it's really fascinating over the radio. For yeah, for those of you listening, obviously you can't see what this guy's doing right now. But holy shit, I, I didn't think quiet. that. Wow. I thought he was dead. A beautiful cabin scene right now. <laughs> now I'm just Word. using a little bit of titanium white right here, and I'm just gonna go tap, tap, tap. It is just that easy. Little tree. Look at that. Look how much you can do with that. Huh? Just wherever you think a little bird would that, be. That is incredible. <laughs> just right there. It is just that easy. Well, that was a heck of a halftime show, guys. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Where did he go? Damn. Yeah, just a bunch of fireworks just happened right after that. Yeah. Oh, now he's gone. Rihanna just like that. That's probably the most incredible thing I've ever seen any band do here. <laughs> he just summoned the essence of Bob Ross halfway <laughs> through the show and, like, he's our, damn. He's, he's keeping the demons away. And just keep him in this bottle of suntan lotion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he never died. He just, he just hangs out with us. I wonder what happened to that guy. Yeah. He never died. No, <laughs> he just, he just got stuck not. in a bottle of suntan lotion. You can't pay your way out of this one, Bob. You guys should really let him out. <laughs> like, give Bob no. Ross back to the world. Yeah. Come on. Well, we've been we've been waiting for It's the, selfish. Yeah. We've just you know we've been waiting for the opportunity to host the halftime show for years now. Thank God. Oh, that's not what you do every time. No, well, it's never been. Yeah, this is the first time someone's let us have a halftime show. Yeah. <laughs> Typically, it's a, it's a, it's like a really express, plain type movement uh, during the show. So, wait, yeah, this is yeah. good. This is a great. Point. I like when a band can like have a visual, like a com- like synesthetic accompaniment. Yeah. You know, especially when it's someone that the world has seen before, like Bob Ross. You know, so that you should have him paint your songs. Yeah. While you <laughs> play. That's a great. You know. Idea. Yeah. And we just give, we give him a little microphone. Yeah, <laughs> like, he what ends up is would that look like? like? What, this, what the painting is. Like what do you the think a Bob song? Ross painting of your song would look like? Wow. Uh, I imagine there'd be some titanium white and some alizarin crimson. Uh, well, do you think there'd still be trees? I think there'd be, yeah. some, there'd be some trees. Would, there be, a little would more they be happy here. trees? I so. Yeah, maybe a cactus. I'd like to see Bob Ross take it, take it to the oh, desert. You know? Wow. Bob Has Ross he ever done a desert episode? He's, he's a Northwest kind yeah. of vibe. Yeah. He's, he's really, he's, he's, he's just lived in Alaska. So he likes the Northwest. Did he live in Alaska? He lived in Alaska, I think. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to say, Bob Ross, I challenge you to paint the desert. For well, a band you've got him in your suntan lotion bottle, so. Um, so yeah, I guess there's no problem. You are in control of that. Ah, well, let's have uh, another song real quick. What's the name of this next one? This is Dainty Web. Dainty Web. Let me to Charlotte's Web. Right, right. This is Rambush. On Free Radio Provo. KW Judas. This is the tuning song. Okay, what's the name of this one? It's called Dainty Web. Dainty Web. All right, let's hear it. That's right. Thank you. 
That's huge news. I know. I you guys uh, are definitely honored and esteemed we guests are. on this show. So, like, how long have you been a band? Well, in this, with Paul and the band, only about a month. And then... Wait, what? Well, yeah. Paul joined the band after our previous bassist left. And that was about a month ago. But we've been doing it really seriously since, like, October of this year, or of this last year. And then... But before that, we were a band like four years ago. Under a different we, name? No, it's the same name, but we just like took a break for a while. Right. Moved and around, moved around, went to school, did a whole, whole bunch of stuff. And then we decided that this is what we really wanted to do. So now we're back doing it. So as your current incarnation, it hasn't even been a year. No, no. not at all. Yeah. That is pretty cool. What made you guys decide to do a, a tour so... Uh, so I guess fresh into it. Well, we've been, I don't know. I mean, we've been doing it a lot since October, but like, yeah, like Jack said, with Paul, it's only been a month, but we had like, you know, a tape out, we had a bunch, you know, we've been playing around Portland for the whole year, you know, like we've been pretty busy, and so we just figured a tour in the summer would be a pretty natural next step to do. Yeah, and we, we knew like it would right. be challenging but once we have it under our belt then we can just do it again you know but i'm glad we did yeah because here we are indeed so like uh i mean like how did you all i guess sort of come together musically we all actually went to high school together Uh aha yeah and then henry and i met like doing choir stuff and theater stuff and then started the band pretty much that way yeah and then um when our old bass player was leaving, Paul was moving back from New York at the same time where he had been living. And um, I asked him if he wanted to do it because he's been a good friend for many years. He put out a lot of really good albums and uh, thankfully he wanted to do it, so. Word. Yeah. So you've been a part of a bunch of other projects too then? Uh, yeah, mostly just like solo stuff and just occasionally playing for like other people's shit. Right. <laughs> And you you haven't even been playing bass that long, right? Yeah, probably about like a year. Uh, I started playing drums <coughs> and then uh, got tied up in guitar and then uh, just started picking up bass for about a year ago. But I play pretty much like every day. 
that's cool. It's all about bass anyway, man. Yeah, it's the heart and soul of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, he's the bass player. You need him, kind of. We never get credit, though. Ladies, <laughs> ladies don't love us. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> it's because, you know, the bass player is the one that gets paid. Is that true? <laughs> 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 Everyone just Where's laughs. the money, dude? Like, <laughs> Indeed, sir. So what's the name of this next song here, right? Uh, one called You, One, Two. I say that with a question inflection because you guys want to do it. I do. Oh, yes. Uh, indeed. I'm pretty sure that's the name of this one. You, one, two. Record show the rabbit Where's your the shotgun? Awesome new shot glass. Do you want a shotgun of beer? We could shotgun that can of beans. Oh, God. <laughs> huh. Paul, you Paul want a shotgun, shotgun a can of beans? <laughs> Simmer down, Pick son. <laughs> Cool. 
Quick shout out to Sound Judgment Records. Sound Judgment Records is our record label founded by the so the was ever, that, ever uh, amazing musical presence. Yes, on all three parts. Yeah, yes. Uh, Arya Emig, sorry, is the founder of Sound Judgment Records, and he has been an instrumental part of like the all ages music scene in Portland. He gave us all our our first shows and has been there from day one. And he's, who's this? He's our. This is our label manager and founder. Let's we'll to go with it. Yeah, he's, buddy. A, he's a great guy. He sounds like a great guy. How long guy. have you known him? Uh, like I, since high school, I guess. Yeah. He was uh, he worked at this really great venue that's no longer around called Backspace, and gave us all shows. We were it's pretty much where we all, you know, all of our high school bands played when we were youngins. And let's let's drink to that. Let's drink to Aria. Let's Cheers see. to Sound Judgment Records. We have Rambush in the studio drinking some very high class uh, high shelf top shelf vodka hey yeah they say that if name brand. if you uh, run it through a coffee filter or something it's supposed to taste just like Grey Goose <laughs> you're kidding I also don't know. heard that if you put like two dollar wine in a blender for a little bit and aerate it it tastes like about thirty dollars better Huh. Yeah. My, my dad's friend told me about that. Also, I want to give a quick shout out to our friends Rod. They're a band from Portland and they're playing their album release show as we speak yeah. back home. You can listen to their album. It's called Pretty Sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, on, uh, it's on Spotify. It's the album's and, uh, called Pretty Sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I it, is. Uh, it's pretty sure. it is. It is. It is. You're quite I confident. really hope it is because I'm yeah, standing they're by playing, it. Uh, they're playing the show to celebrate its release right now. And that's happening tonight. Tonight. Yeah. In Portland. Oh, damn. So Rod and here you guys have to be locked away in a uh, dungeon on whatever okay, we've seen them a lot. floor of <laughs> the seventh moon of <laughs> yeah. cubic zirconium or wherever it was. Yeah. You guys no, this, is, this is a new experience. It's a whole new dimension. Yeah, that's what's cool about it, though. Yeah. So what's the name of this next song, guys? We, we got about nine minutes. Okay. You guys want to play Tiddlywinks? Yeah. yeah, we're going to do a sh really short, really new one, and then a song called Consolidation. All right. But this one is called Don't Mess With My Youth. We're ambush here on KWJ. It's the free radio promo.
Hey, kid. Hey. Oh, oh, the, I'm not a kid. Huh? I'm Donald Trump, you pompous. Whoa, hey there, Donald Trump. Oh, it's better. Do you have a problem with people not liking you? Oh, not at all. Well, I'm the most popular. Does no one ever want to play with you at recess or sit next to you at lunch? Oh, well, uh, uh, yeah. Not even Teddy wants to snuggle up at night. Oh, how do you know about that? Well, Trumpy, say no more. Oh, I'm not Trumpy. No, douche breath, I called you Trumpy. Oh, okay. Seems to me like what you need is an Academy Award. Oh, yeah, damn it, it's about time. <laughs> well, say no further. <laughs> now you can with Durbinchley's new Academy Novel Peace Prize winning Academy Award winner. Oh, what? R really? Guaranteed. It's, a, it's won two Nobel Peace Prizes in a row for its Academy Award winning action. Just press the button. Well, thanks, Durbinchley. You just ch helped me change the face of America. Uh, uh. And remember, if it doesn't say Derpin, it's not Derpin Schlee. <laughs> yeah. So we got about two minutes left, you guys. That's great news. Ah, yeah. oh, where'd that guy go? Yeah, Paul has left the building. Left the building. <laughs> oh man, I gotta pee too. Should we just call it an early one? Let's call it an early one. Man, I really gotta pee. We gotta go uh, back to Salt Lake City to grab our base ham. Yeah, these guys left their base up at well. the, uh, what's the we, name of the place? At the Burrow, which is a great place, but uh, we left our, uh, we left our base up. So we got to go get it so we can be back in Provo tomorrow night at City Limits. Which has already happened by the time you've listened yeah, to this, what folks. What a great time that And was. we thank you all for being there last Saturday. And those of you who yeah. didn't miss it, you're a dick. <laughs> yeah, what thanks the, for having us on the show, man. Yeah, thanks for having us, Judas. And letting us sleep in, in your house. Oh, the fun's just barely started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. We'd like to thank you all for joining us on another exciting episode of Free Radio Provo's KW Judas with Rambush. Please join us on another exciting episode next weekend. We now return you to our regular Free Radio programming.